next chapter of the paper is complex numbers the definition of complex number the number of the form z is equal to z is the notation for the complex number uh, x plus i y the number of these form what what are x and y x and y are real number that is uh, x uh, uh, may be in point or uh, x and y may be uh, in point or fractional number negative number positive number may be integers and what is i i is root minus 1 uh, means i square is what minus 1 is called a complex number the number of these forms x plus i y are called complex numbers where what are x and y x and y are real number for example 3 plus 2 i 4 minus 5 i minus 6 plus 9 i that is these uh, uh, x and y uh, are positive both are positive negative all combinations then uh, 1.2 minus 3 by 4 i that is this y is now a fractional number this x is in the point 1.2 so this is also complex number then 3 3 is already uh, actually the natural number or integer but it is a real number uh, it is a also real number but uh, we can express 3 in the form 3 plus 0 i that is it is a complex number so all integers all uh, real numbers are complex numbers 0.5 is a purely real number but uh, it is also a complex number we can we can write 0.5 is 0.5 plus 0 i so it is a complex number so all real numbers are complex number obviously all natural number all integers are complex numbers uh, then uh, 3i this is uh, also complex number we can because we can write 0 plus 3i in the form 0 plus 3i so all real numbers are complex numbers means all natural numbers all integers are real numbers all fractional numbers are integer uh, are real numbers are uh, complex numbers the set of all complex numbers is denoted by this letter capital c and it is what x plus i y the number is the set of the elements of the type x plus i y x and y belongs to and we can write this x plus i y in the form of order pair that is we can write in round bracket x comma y so both the notations are same that is either write x plus i y or in round bracket x comma y that is order pair x y such so that x and y are real number so the complex number is also uh, defined in as a order pair in the form of order pair of a real numbers for example 3 plus 2 i we can write 3 plus 2 i uh, in round bracket 3 comma 2 okay so 4 minus 5 i is 4 minus 5 minus 6 plus 9 i is this so this 1.2 minus uh, 3 by 4 i is this that uh, 1.2 comma minus 3 by 4 3 3 number 3 this is a uh, purely real number actually is a uh, We can write three zero, okay? That is uh, x is three, y is zero. Then three i zero three. Then zero zero is also a complex number. We can write zero i zero order pair zero zero. So if z is equal to a b or z is equal to a plus i b b i b complex number, then a is called real part of z and uh, it is denoted by this notation r capital R e z. That is real part of z is a. And B is called imaginary part of Z, and it is denoted by this notation I am Z. That is ima imaginary part of Z is B. For example, if three minus two I, then real part of Z is three, and imaginary part is minus two. Okay. A complex number whose real part is zero. If the com uh, real part of the complex number is zero, then a number is called purely imaginary number, such as the number of the form zero I. Zero uh, y, so that is zero order pair in the form of zero order pair zero comma y, that, or z is equal to i y. That is, for example, in this this three uh, i is purely complex number, uh, purely imaginary number. This is called purely imaginary number whose real part is zero. A complex number whose imaginary part is zero called is called a real number or such a number is, is are of the form. Uh, z is equal to x comma y. These are the purely imaginary number whose real part is zero. And if the imaginary part is zero, then uh, that is z is equal to x or z is equal to x comma y. For example, this number, uh, this point five, point five or three, whose imaginary part is zero, is called purely real number. And this is called uh, purely imaginary number. Okay, whose real part is zero. A complex number whose 
um, both the real and imaginary part is zero is called a zero complex number for example this number zero zero uh, express in the form order pair zero comma zero or zero plus zero i okay uh, a set of real numbers can identify as a subset of c obviously r is subset of capital r is subset of c all real numbers are complex numbers and the set of complex number is generated by this notation either this notation or x plus uh, y i or i y okay and uh, when the two complex numbers are equal if their real parts are same any imaginary parts are same so when z1 is equal to z1 z2 if x1 is equal to x2 that is real parts are same and imaginary y1 is equal to y2 and we can uh, denote uh, we can uh, represent the complex number graphically this 2 plus 3 i that is order pair 2 3 that is the x on the x axis the distance is 2 and on the x y axis the distance is 3 so 2 3 order pair 2 3 is the number 2 plus 3 i okay so we can uh, represent a complex number uh, graphically by using this argon diagram so algebra of complex number that is how we can add uh, subtract multiply and divide these complex numbers so z1 is x1 plus i y1 or y1 i right y1 i or i y1 then z2 is x2 plus i y2 then addition is the addition of corresponding uh, parts that is real parts addition of real part here is uh, what is x1 plus i y1 plus x2 plus i y2 that is addition is x1 plus x2 that is it is real part of this z1 plus z2 and i y1 plus y2 and subtraction is what x1 minus x2 and plus i y1 minus y2 this is subtraction that is the subtraction of real part subtraction of the imaginary part very simple addition and subtraction then uh, how we can define the product we can define addition and uh, uh, multiplication in the form of uh, order pair or in the form of this so this this is the uh, uh, example of addition 2 plus uh, 3i plus minus 6 minus 5i so 2 minus 6 is minus 4 and 3 and uh, minus 5 becomes minus 2i okay and here subtraction is what Four minus 4 minus minus plus 2 becomes uh, plus 2 uh, minus 2 then minus 4 plus 2 okay minus 4 plus 2 it becomes minus 2 and this minus uh, plus 3i minus minus plus 5i becomes 8i this is a subtraction then product how you can define the product of two in uh, two complex numbers these are the complex numbers then uh, uh, the product of these two bracket uh, this this bracket contains two terms this bracket contains two terms therefore their product contains four terms what are that x1 into x2 x1 i x1 y2 okay x1 y2 i i y1 x2 okay and then i i i x1 y2 and then plus i y1 x2 this term and then plus i square y1 y2 and i square is minus one that's why what do we have x1 uh, x2 minus y1 y2 this becomes a real part and then plus take i common from these two so what do we have x1 y2 plus y1 x2 okay so this is the product of two complex number you can also define the product of two complex number in the form of order pair that x1 x2 minus y1 y2 is a real part and comma y1 uh, x2 plus x1 y2 is the imaginary part uh, then we uh, this is the example of product of two complex number minus 4 plus 3i into minus 2 minus 5i is what minus minus 2 minus 4 minus 2 become plus 8 then minus 4 minus 5i becomes plus 20i then 3i into minus 2 becomes minus 6i and this is uh, minus 15i square so i square is minus 1 so this becomes plus 15 8 plus 15 8 plus 15 becomes 15 and 8 so right here that number uh, 15 is 23 not 38 right here 23 and uh, minus uh, plus 20i minus 6i becomes 49 so right here um, uh, 23 right here 23 number instead of this 38 then uh, we can divide two complex number that is z1 divided by z2 x1 plus i y1 
then we rationalize the denominator that is a uh, multiply by rationalizing factor of uh, or conjugate factor of this uh, x2 plus i y2 that is multiply by x2 minus i y2 divided by x2 minus i y2 is called rationalization and then multiplication of these two brackets is this that x1 x2 minus i x1 y2 uh, plus i y1 x2 and then last term minus i square y1 y2 and the multiplication of these two is what uh, you can directly write the multiplication a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square all right the four terms of this multiplication is what x1 x2 uh, minus i x2 y2 minus i y2 x2 and then last term minus i square y2 y2 okay and then we have the denominator is this is become zero because plus minus become zero and then x2 square and this i square is plus uh, is minus one so minus minus become plus y2 square and the numerator is what x1 x2 and this is plus y1 y2 and this term take i common then what do we have minus x1 y2 plus y1 x2 that is take this minus sign uh, at the first term or uh, uh, interchange the first and second term also this is this is divide x2 plus y2 square x2 square plus y2 square to both terms we have this so this is the real part and this is the immediate part so in order to divide to complex number rationalize denominator this is very important step that is rationalize denominator then it converts the question in the form x plus i y that is in the form of standard uh, complex number so here is the division of two complex number 1 plus 2i divided by 1 plus i that is rationalize the denominator that is multiplied by 1 minus i and divided by 1 minus i and the multiplication of these two is what this is the multiplication of these two by using uh, the definition of this multiplication that is we get four, four terms and then real part is what 1 and this is plus 2 and then remainder part is uh, uh, minus i plus 2i so 3 plus i the multiplication of these two bracket and this is 1 square minus i square that is uh, 1 square plus 1 square that is 2 minus 1 square i minus i square i square is minus 1 and so minus 1 become plus that is plus 2 divided by 2 okay so 3 plus i divided by 2 and it is we can write it is in the form 3 by 2 plus 1 half i that is in the form of x plus i y that is the real part of this number is what is 3 by 2 and imaginary part of this number is what one half so find real and imaginary part first uh, uh, obtain the division of this uh, 2 plus i divided by 3 minus 2 that is rationalized denominator multiply by 3 plus 2 i divided by 3 plus 2 i that is uh, rationalized denominator and then multiplication of these two bracket is this and uh, multiplication of these two bracket is what x minus y into x plus y is x square minus y square actually 2 minus 2 i square but i square is minus 1 so minus minus become plus 1 and then we have this answer 4 plus 7 i divided by 13 that is this is the uh, that is 4 by 13 plus 7 by 39 but it's square so 13 square is 169 and then 4 plus 7 i square bracket square means 4 plus 7 i into 4 plus 7 i and this is what 4 into 416 and this is minus 79 7 into 7 uh, 49 that is a uh, plus and the multiplication so write the multiplication we get this this is the multiplication of these two bracket we get four first four terms then replace i square by minus one we have this so multiply these two bracket uh, by using this procedure what is the procedure of multiplication of two bracket this is the first so we obtain first four terms and then replace i square by minus one we get the answer so multiply these two bracket we get this answer and therefore this is minus 39 divided by 169 and plus 56 divided by 169 i so this is the real part minus 33 by 169 and imaginary part of the number is what the number z is what 56 divided by 169 so reduce the following quantities to a real number that is the uh, obtain the uh, this addition and uh, multiplication subtraction obtain this we get the real number actually so we have to be, uh, find a 1 plus 2i divided by 3 minus 4i. That is, uh, we have to obtain the division of these two complex numbers. That is, uh, when, whenever you, you have to obtain the division of complex number, then rationalize denominator. Very important step. 
rational denominator that is 3 minus 4i conjugate factor is 3 plus 4i multiplied divided by the same factor here is 5i uh, is uh, its conjugate factor is minus 5i actually 5i is what 0 plus 5i so its conjugate factor is what 0 minus 5i rationalizing factor 0 minus 5i that is minus 5i multiplied and divided by because this 2 minus i and divided by 5i both are complex number and if you have to find uh, division of complex number then rationalize denominator and then multiplication of these two terms is this uh, these two bracket multiplication of the two, these two bracket is 25 because 9 and plus 16 is 25 and then multiplication of these two is 25 minus 25 i square i square is minus 1 therefore plus 25 and multiplication of these two bracket is this and if we find uh, if we take 25 as lcm then minus 5 minus 5 becomes minus 10 and plus 10 i and minus 10 i become 0 so we have the answer minus 10 by 25 that is minus 2 by 5 that is reduce the following quantities to real number we have this expression as a real number similarly here so first multiply these three bracket first multiply any two bracket we have this answer uh, after multiplication of first two bracket and then again multiply these two bracket and then rationalize this uh, 10i that is uh, next step is what uh, i i get cancel here so minus uh, 5 by minus 10 becomes minus 10 so if here is uh, not 5 i here is only 5 and then divide by minus 10i then uh, multiply and uh, divide by 10i then 1 minus i raised to 4 that is uh, first uh, multiply 1 minus i into 1 minus i 1 into 1 minus i four times we get answer minus 1 minus i raised to 4 <coughs> is obtained as a 1 minus i uh, multiplication of 1 minus i four times we get minus 4 answer find two complex number whose sum is 4 and whose product is 8 suppose uh, z is equal to x1 plus i y1 and z2 is equal to x2 plus i y2 be two such a numbers that their addition is 4 and multiplication is 8 and then uh, what is z1 z1 is this z2 is this is equal to 4 and z1 into z2 is this so their addition is this and the multiplication of these two number is this x1 x2 minus y1 y2 plus i x1 y2 plus y1 x2 i is equal to x and then equating the real and imaginary part so x1 plus x2 is 4 and y1 plus y2 is 0 because uh, imaginary part 4 the number you can express this 4 as a 4 plus 0 i so G, imaginary part is 0 here is again x uh, real part of this number is x1 x2 minus y1 y2 is equal to here 8 and imaginary part x1 y y2 plus y1 y x2 is equal to 0 because 8 is 8 plus 0 i and then uh, solving these equations these equations so first is x1 plus x2 is equal to 4 this y1 plus y2 is equal to 0 and this is the second and this is the fourth solve all these four equations and find the values of x1 x2 y1 y2 so from equation number this we have x1 is 4 minus x2 and then substitute this 4 minus x2 at this place and from this y1 is minus y2 substitute at this place we have this equation and then uh, take y2 as common so we have y2 in bracket in bracket 4 minus x2 uh, plus x2 uh, that is uh, 4 minus uh, x2 minus x2 and that is we have 4 minus 2 x2 is equal to 0 and that is y2 is 0 or 4 minus x2 is 0 means x2 is equal to uh, 2 x2 is equal to 2 that is 2 x2 4 minus 2 x2 is equal to 0 means x2 is 2 so we have this answer and substitute y2 as 0 uh, in third in this equation third we get we get uh, x2 in the, this equation means we get x2 as a 2 plus minus root 2i and which is not possible because x2 is real number and so y2 is 0 is not possible and so take x2 as 2 so x2 as 2 then we get 3 this equation 3 uh, from equation 3 we get y2 as a plus minus 2 so x2 is 2 and y2 is plus minus 2 take any uh, either plus 2 or minus 2 and if we substitute this in equation number 1 in equation number 1 this equation number one x1 plus x1 is 4 minus x2 and y1 is minus y2 we get these values x1 is 2 y1 is minus 2 that is take air plus 2 then we have air minus 2 and therefore the two numbers are 2 minus 2i and 2 plus 2i okay 
because we have x1 x2 so solve these equations equation 1 and 2 and uh, by adding and subtracting and uh, find the values of x1 y1 x2 y2 and we get the answer then uh, show that each of the two complex number z is equal to plus i and z uh, 1 plus i and 1 minus i satisfies the equation this so first take z is equal to 1 plus i satisfies means substitute z as 1 plus i so z 1 plus i square minus 2 into 1 plus i plus 2 where to show it is equal to 0 and then 1 plus uh, i means uh, uh, directly use x plus uh, y square that uh, x square plus 2 x into y plus y square or uh, how we can find 1 plus i bracket square 1 plus i into 1 plus i we have this answer 0 and therefore 1 plus i satisfies this equation also we can show that 1 minus i also satisfies this equation then um, show that this is equal to 2 1 that is multiply these three complex numbers and these are in the form of uh, order pair so first multiply any two suppose first two then we have this answer 10 0 and then multiply these two okay so here is the use this definition multiplication okay directly write uh, this this multiplication is this okay or we can uh, uh, use express this number right here that 3 plus uh, 1 i this is 3 plus 1 i this is 3 minus i 1 i means uh, 3 plus i 3 minus i into 1 by 5 plus 1 by 10 i and then answer 2 plus i is the answer so uh, if you uh, directly find the numbers by uh, uh, expressing this number in the form x plus i y that is right 3 plus i 3 minus i into 1 by 5 plus 1 by 10 i then we have the answer 2 plus i so complex conjugate if a z is the number x plus i y then its conjugate is denoted by z bar and it is x minus y i okay so all in the form of order pair z is uh, suppose order pair x y then z bar is x comma minus y is called conjugate that is 2 plus i its conjugate is 2 minus i and vice versa that is uh, 2 minus i is the number then its conjugate is 2 plus i i conjugate of i is minus i and so on so uh, the properties of this uh, conjugate are what z bar z is x plus i y then z bar is x minus i y if we find z bar bar then it is z it is it, it equal to z z bar bar so that is if you find comp conjugate of this uh, number uh, x minus i y then it is becomes x plus i y that is z z bar bar is z okay and, z, and therefore z and z bar are conjugate of each other that is if 2 plus i then its conjugate is 2 minus i and, and if the number is 2 minus i then its conjugate is 2 plus i z is uh, x plus y i the complex number then z bar is uh, x minus y i then if you add these two numbers, then we have two x that is z plus z bar is two times real part of z or real part of z is what z plus z bar divided by two z minus z i becomes uh, uh, two uh, y i that is uh, two i imaginary part of z that is imaginary part of z is what z minus z bar divided by two i z into z bar is what multiplication of these two is what x square minus minus plus y square x square plus y square that is uh, z into z bar is always greater than or equal to zero quantity because x square x a, a, y a real number and a square of real number is always positive quantity uh, is a non-negative real number z into z bar then uh, 1 by z that is how you can find 1 by z that is uh, multiply and divide by uh, z bar that is uh, uh, z bar divided by z bar that is a uh, uh, division of two complex number multiply by its conjugate that is rationalization and x minus uh, y i then z into z bar is x square plus y square z into z bar is x square plus y square x by x square plus y square minus y by y square x square plus y square i this is j one by j so this is the theorem on the conjugate z1 plus z, z1 is this, x1 plus i, y1, z2 is this, then uh, where to prove this and this, these four theorems, okay, so first one is what, uh, z1 plus z2, what is z1 plus z2 is x1 plus x2 plus y1 plus y2i, and its conjugate is what, x1 plus x2 minus 
y1 plus y2 that is we have the answer that uh, x1 minus i y1 plus uh, x2 plus minus uh, x2 minus y2 i okay and that is uh, z, z1 bar plus z2 bar that is first find z1 plus z2 z1 plus z2 is this z1 plus z2 is what uh, take z1 as a this z1 plus z2 is this x1 plus x2 in bracket plus i y1 plus y and then its bar is what it's then its bar is right here minus sign okay and then uh, uh, we have the x1 minus i y1 in one bracket plus x2 minus i y2 in bracket that is z1 bar uh, plus z2 bar that is z1 plus z2 bar is z1 bar similar proof of subtraction here is the proof of the multiplication is uh, z1 into z2 is of multiplication of these two uh, complex number is this and then its bar is what right here just minus sign it's conjugate z1 into z2 bar so this is the, and then uh, this is the lhs z1 into z2 bar z1 into z2 bar and then rhs is what z1 bar into z2 bar is what x1 minus i y2 z1 bar x2 minus i y2 and if you, i find its multiplication is the same so from 1 and 2 we have this z1 into z2 bar is z1 bar into z2 bar similarly you can prove z1 by z2 first find z1 by z2 is this this is z1 by z2 okay so by rationalizing denominator we have this answer in the form of x plus i y and then its conjugate is what just right here minus sign so this is the lhs z1 by z2 bar the lhs this is the lhs then find rhs that is z1 bar by z2 bar so z1 bar is x1 minus i y1 z2 bar is x2 minus i y2 then i can rationalize the denominator then x2 minus i y2 is a conjugate factor is x2 plus i y2 multiply and divide by say multiply and we have the same answer here observe one and two and so from one and two we have z1 by z2 bar is equal to z1 bar by z2 bar okay so uh, show that this is equal to this number so first find uh, 1 plus 2 i divided by 1 plus i by rationalizing denominator so we have this answer and then it's fourth power we have to find its fourth power so this is 3 plus i raised to fourth power this is 3 plus i raised to fourth power and 2 fourth power of 2 is 16 uh, 3 plus uh, i its fourth power you can find 3 plus i raised to 4 that is 3 plus i four times multiply 3 plus i into 3 plus i into 3 plus i into 3 plus i four times or directly uh, use the concept that x plus y raised to 4 is what x raised to 4 4 into x raised to 3 into y then 6 x square y square plus 4 x into y square uh, y cube plus y raised to 4 that is where this term four terms by using binomial theorem okay and the answer of the numerator is this 28 plus 96i because i square is uh, minus 1 i cube what is the value of i cube i cube is i square into i i square is minus 1 so i cube is what minus i minus i value of i cube i raised to 4 is what i square into i square that is minus 1 into minus 1 that is plus 1 a value is plus 1 and then we have answered this 1 by 4 7 plus 24i so what is its conjugate then we have to find its conjugate so what is its conjugate just right here minus sign 1 by 4 7 minus 24i so in the next lecture we will see the definition of modulus and argument